Hello everybody, this is Kenneth Hollins here with HollinsMusic.com. Thank you so much for taking a few minutes and viewing this video. Now what I have for you today is something that I think will help a lot of musicians and it is this. What do you do with your left hand? You know sometimes that is a problem when you are playing piano and you want to make sure that your chords are sounding full, your, your chords are sounding big. So what I'm going to do right now is show you some really basic and simple things that you can do with your left hand that will add fullness to the sound of your chords, okay? All right, so let's, for example, take the C major chord for um, the chord that we use to demonstrate this with, okay? now. The most common thing that uh, people do a lot of times on the piano is they will play what's called an octave, okay? And so that's nothing more than just doubling the bass note, okay? That's probably the easiest thing that you can do to try to add a little uh, fullness to the sound of your chord. Now, another thing that you can do that's really simple is play what's called a perfect fifth interval. Now, what that is, is when you play the number one and five of that particular major scale. For example, the C major scale is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And so the one and five would be the C and the G together. And that is what you would call a perfect fifth, all right? And so perfect fifths are real common when you're playing chords with your right hand, okay? So you'll play a chord with your right hand in that perfect fifth interval with your left hand. And then, for example, if we were to play the F major chord, that would be the perfect fifth interval, the F and the C, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? So that's real easy. That's We, we can do that with uh, not much effort. Now, the next thing that you can do is play drop two voicings with your left hand. Now let me show you how to do that. First let me explain what the drop two voicing is, okay? Let's go back to C major again. Okay, this is the C major triad. The drop two voicing is when you take the next to the highest note or the next to the top note, okay? The top note or the highest note in this particular chord is the note G. G is the top note or the highest note. And so the next or the second to the top note would be this E here, okay? That's where we get the drop two from. So it's the second from the top note. And what we're going to do is take the second from the top note and drop it down an octave like that. And so instead of playing the E right here, we play the E just an octave below that. And so we would call this C major drop two, okay? So to demonstrate that same thing in a different key, let's try it in the key of F major. All right, so this is the F major chord. If we want to play F major drop two, we would take the next to the top note or the second from the top note. C is the top or the highest note, and the next from the top note is the A. And then we would drop that an octave, and so then that would give us the F major chord drop two. Okay, so it's really simple, that's how you do that. Now, you can also take your major chords and do what's called a chord inversion, all right? So a chord inversion is when you take the notes of a chord and you don't change the notes of the chords per se, but you change the position or the order of those particular notes. For example, when we play C, E, G, this would be C major in root position because C is the root of the chord, okay? C, E, G in root position. And that would be C major in root position. And so if we invert it, that means we're gonna play the same notes, but change the position, we can move like this. Instead of C, E, G, now we have E, G, C. And we would call this first inversion, okay? We inverted the chord, and that's the first inversion. Now we have E, G, C and then we can invert it again, G, C, E. This would be called second inversion, all right? If we were to keep going, C, E, G, we're back to root position again, okay? So 
what we can do with that is we also can do drop two voicings on each inversion. Okay, let me show you what that looks like. Again, let's go back to the, the root position chord and when we drop the two, we're gonna take this note, bring it down an octave, okay? All right, but now let's try it with the first inversion. So this is C major, first inversion. We're gonna take the, this is the top note, we're gonna take the next to the top note, which is the G, bring it down like that, okay? Nice little stretch right there. So this would be C major, first inversion, drop two, okay? It's a little stretch from my hand, okay? And then we're gonna do it again. Root position, first inversion, second inversion. And we're so you also can take the C major chord in second inversion and then drop the two, okay? The second from the top note would be the C. You bring it down an octave. That would be C major in second inversion, drop two. So as you can see, there's so many different things that we can do uh, with the left hand. We can play octaves. We can play perfect fifths. We can play uh, drop two voicings. Okay, it's a nice little stretch right there. So experiment with that. You can do it with major chords. You can do it with minor chords. For example, if I were to do uh, this with a major chord, okay, would be the same for the minor. If I were to do the perfect fifth with the major, it would be the same as the minor. If I were to do this with a, a drop two voicing, for example, I would have to shift uh, the major third to the flat three. So this would be major, that would be minor. And then if I were to invert it and then do one of the drop two chords, this would be major, this would be minor. Okay, so it's so many different options that you have with your left hand. So experiment with it, see what you can come up with. And, um, and, and I believe it will really add fullness and then also give you different options in terms of the sound that you want to get. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that was helpful. You always can go to my website, hollandsmusic.com, where we have so many resources. You also can subscribe for free and uh, get uh, more free lessons sent directly to your email. And then also, if you enjoyed this lesson, please subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, make a comment, that really helps the channel. And uh, always remember, HMPI, we're serving gospel musicians all over the world.